Hello friends, this is tutorial number 23 in this Turbo Pascal uh, programming language tutorials. Okay, uh, in this tutorial uh, we will do uh, some uh, similar application uh, uh, from as we have in the last tutorial, but uh, uh, we will do some same application that we already did in Java with random number. Okay. Uh, okay, you if you watch my Java tutorial, uh, you already know this application, but it doesn't matter if you, you didn't, yeah, now you will uh, do it with me uh, in the Turbo Pascal. Okay, uh, first I want to show you, I want to show you uh, how to find and what is the random number. Okay, we will have one variable and we will give a variable name, it can be random number. Uh, you can use if uh, uh, x if you like or y. I will use a random number, and it will be an integer. Okay, and now let's begin and end. Okay, uh, uh, I will put dot, and now uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I already show you that we are using tab for the more readable code, but we didn't use that in this uh, in this uh, uh, main begin and then application. Okay, but uh, from now I will use it here. Okay, if you want, uh, if you want, you can write from here, but uh, the code will be more readable. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to tell you earlier to, to not confuse you, uh, but uh, from this tutorial I I will write it uh, write it here with with tab. Okay, and uh, what we gonna do? Uh, we will do a randomize. Randomize, and uh, we will define random number. A random number will be equal uh, and we will have a random uh, its operation ra random uh, and we will uh, the number will be 20 okay and we will write line uh, we will write line okay a random number as a text equals and we need a name of the variable it's a random number okay uh, and now uh, and now we need uh, I will put read line okay and now uh, let's try to compile this Okay, I put two dots instead of a semicolon. Uh, let's compile it and okay, and uh, let's run. Okay, we have a random number equals to three, uh, and what it uh, what it mean? Okay, but let's try again. Okay, a random number equals to six. Let's try again. A random number is eight. Uh, the point is, we will get a random number, uh, a random number, okay, and a limit is 20, okay, and we will get from, from 0 to, to, to 20, okay, it's 9, and it can be 14, okay, it's 1, 18 okay now we know what, what's the random number okay and uh, now as we know what what the random number but I'm pretty sure that you know that from the other languages uh, I want now uh, we will uh, extend this our application and we will need a, a year it will be a year of birth and month and what what I want to do here? Okay, uh, we have a random number. Uh, okay, I will 
Okay, it can stay, it, or it can be, it can be 100, for example. Uh, and uh, now, uh, what I want, for example, uh, I will give one limit to the. Uh, I will give it a, a limit to if, for example, I will. Uh, if, we will write if random number is less than 50 less or equal than 50 we will we will uh, we will write a statement enter year of birth but if a random number is greater than than, than 50 uh, uh, program will ask us which month we were born okay uh, and let's uh, let's start okay first uh, we will write if if random number is uh, uh, less or equal to 50, then okay, then we will have uh, let begin and end uh, and uh, and let's let's write. Uh, we will write right line uh, enter year of birth okay and we will uh, we have a variable uh, we will read a line year it will be simple uh, simple statement and uh, we will simply uh, write line uh, uh, you were born in and we will need a variable year it's pretty much simple okay but now uh, we will need a else statement okay it will be if random number is uh, less or equal than 50 but we will need also a else statement and it also will have begin and end okay but if uh, uh, if uh, uh, in else statement we will write which month we are born okay and let's start here but we will need uh, we will need another statement okay but uh, a month can be from 1 to 12 first we need to to write a, a condition if we'll have if uh, First, we will need to write right line, enter month of birth. Okay, and we need to read line month. Okay, but first we need to write a condition. If if uh, month it needs to be a less or greater uh, uh, greater or equal than one it is a first condition and we need the end condition and a month is uh, less or equal than uh, 12 and we need then okay and again we will have uh, we will have a uh, begin and end uh, and uh, let's write and also we will have uh, we will have an else statement and else statement will have begin begin and and also Okay, and uh, let's uh, uh, and this will have a semicolon, this end statement because it's else statement, and we need to write just a second. Uh, we will write 
if for example a month is less than than than, than one or month is greater than than 12 uh, we need to write right line uh, you you must enter the number from 1 to 12 okay that's our else statement but if uh, condition this condition is good uh, we uh, we uh, will uh, uh, we will uh, we need a statement for that and we will use uh, case month off the best way for that okay and uh, let's start first number one it will be uh, right line uh, you were born in January because it's the first month okay and I will do I'll be, uh, because we held 12 months first I need to use a copy paste okay because uh, this application is little bigger not complicated but it's a little bigger and first three times okay we copy pasted three times and now we will select all of these four and we will copy them three times okay one uh, let's paste again and once more or wait a second wait a second okay it's enough it's enough um, <laughs> it could be my mistake we already have uh, 12 uh, we already have 12 months and just to not forget okay uh, we have uh, uh, we have where uh, case a case statement needs to have an end to not forget uh, let's write okay uh, okay the code looks good but we need now to change uh, to change these numbers two three four five six seven eight nine okay ten 11 and fell and now we need to to change the month okay january is good uh, uh, case number two will be february case three will be march case four will be april uh, may case number six will be June okay case number seven will be July case number eight will be August uh, case number nine will be September case number ten will be October November is case number 11 and we need for case number 12 is December okay and that should be fine uh, okay we have a read line okay this end needs to have semicolon okay I saw it and this no this end will not okay now uh, that should be that should be our application and uh, let's uh, okay uh, we should we should now now we should uh, we should compile this if uh, to see where oh, we don't have errors <laughs> okay uh, that's good but uh, let me first uh, I need first uh, want to clear the DOS screen and I want to run now to see how it will works okay 
Okay, as we we can see, a random number is twelve, uh, and uh, twelve is uh, uh, the random number is lesser than uh, less than than fifty or equal. Uh, less or equal than 50 yes it is and we need to enter year of birth okay i'm going to 1985 okay you were born in year oh my mistake uh, here is the mistake here is the mistake uh let me uh let me okay now i will see where's the mistake uh, enter year okay i I didn't close I didn't close the text here and I don't need a quote here okay uh, as you can see you uh, you don't need to have uh, in the code but uh, you can you can have error and you, if you cannot see it uh, until you run the code Code will will start, but not uh, will not work properly. Okay, let's run. Okay, enter. We have a number thirty-eight and enter year of birth. Now let's try nineteen eighty-five. Okay, you were born in nineteen eighty-five. Uh, what's the problem? Yes, I forgot. No, it's work, but uh, I need I need a little of space. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, I will try again. Okay, now it's number 69. Uh, let's let's put number 0 first to see. You must enter the number from 1 to 12. Okay, this works fine. Okay, and uh, let me try a couple more times. Okay, enter year of birth. Okay. Uh, okay, it can be 2005. Okay, you were born 2005. It works it works uh, perfect. And uh, now uh, let's try. Let's try. We need uh, to check the months. Okay, number sixty-four. Enter month of birth. Okay, let's be number five. You were born in May. That's good. Okay, we'll. I hope that okay year of birth. Okay, of uh, two thousand. And let's clear this a little. I want to just to check uh, one or two more months. Okay, here is 51. Okay, if it is 11. Okay, you were born in November, but this uh, this uh, this works uh, good. Uh, okay, and just one more month. Okay, let's be. It will be 12 December. Okay, this works fine. Okay, uh, to show you, this is our code. Uh, it is a little bit, a little bigger, but as you, you can see, uh, uh, the most important thing uh, is okay. You need to indent little uh, code, as you can see now. We we uh, whatever and. Uh, if it is main begin and end or it is in the con some of the control statement i uh, used to to i used tab in this code okay it looks more readable uh, you can practice this a little this is not uh, this is not nothing the, the only new thing that we learn here is the random number but it is pretty easy the rest of the application you already know from the previous tutorials okay uh, and I really hope, I really hope uh, that you like this video. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.